pitching this onto that Sanders yeast cake finished it flat dead in four days so I've given it an extra day two days now I'm going to rack it off that yeast cake look at that beauty down there we've got kettle trub not kettle trub trub and yeast lots of so I'm going to now rack it into a new cleanly sanitized it all rounder which I'm purging with CO2 and then so as you can see there's not a huge amount of hops there but they ain't half going to swell up we have a transfer and look how beautiful that cake is on the bottom that's without cold crushing it it's just leaving it to settle yummy now all right i could possibly have got another 100 milliliters or something out of there but we're all nicely transferred into here so let's swap them around this is now set to what have i set it to 15 and a half 15 I think I can't remember it doesn't matter anyway half a degree between mates and that's what a beautiful yeast cake and and trub base we've got there we could easily have pitched back onto that as well but I'm not uh, I'm not up for multiple regenerations just yet this isn't Dr Brew oh. It's too easy that wasn't it so now we wait two days cold hopping uh, a day and a bit cold crashing and um and then the tasting this is the ever so slightly changed flower childish version three now having been dry hopped is being transferred closed transfer to a purged corny so that's been cleaned with star sand fully purged with co2 and now transferring and we're up to just nearing eight liters good 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 because it's yorkshire i don't want to lose any if you tip the firmzilla over the ye uh, well, yeast it's not it's just hoppage will stay pretty much where it is and there you can see the takeoff really is just above where that hop cake is and as soon as that comes down to the level where it's going to start sucking some of those, just let some of the gas out of the corny as soon as that comes down to the level where it's going to pull some of that hot matter out I will disconnect it here how exciting and if you look you can see on the end where I've put my little weight on there which should be keeping it just above and it is pulling a tiny little bit can you see those little dimples but that's okay that will go into the bottom of the keg and that will come out on the first on the first couple of glasses that I pull off the important thing at the moment is get as much of that beer out as possible oops I don't think I'm gonna get a huge amount more out of here I think that's just being I think the technical term that I learned from a guy in Retford is tight ass so we're up to just under 18 litres a little disappointing I was expecting to get a full 19 out of there but you know such is um, I'm really not gonna get I don't know 
probably isn't the best bit of filming either, is it? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna chance at trying to suck that last little bit out. Um, that's okay. So that's 17.95. I did tear it, so it is 17.95, 17.95 liters in there. So uh, I'll get 17 after after I pulled the bits off the bottom. That's settled. I'll get a decent 17, 34 pints. That's all right. All right, good. Let's uh, let's get it in the keyser. The smell from that is outstanding. Uh, it's going to be probably a week or so before it's carved up but I'm definitely going to have a taste tonight I'll probably pull a quarter of a pint off just to get rid of anything that's settled in the bottom and then have a, a decent half pint taster but the smell wow stunning let's see later Not a lot has changed in my work area over the last week. I'm sure some people, Stephen Law, will probably notice. <laughs> However, there is um, coming up a very, 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 very special video. <laughs> but before then, so kegged it yesterday. <laughs> Popped it in the keyser yesterday. Hasn't really had any chance to carbonate, but I had to give it a try. So I've pulled off a little one. And <laughs> uh, about a quarter of a pint into another you know, chucker. So we should have pulled most of any of that hoppage that had dropped to the bottom. I'm sure there'll be a bit more in the fullness of time. But 24 hours in flower childish version free <coughs> um, this was actually pitched onto that Sanders yeast cake and I can tell you now it smells outstanding it smells every bit of a flower child it's fruity it's funky it's kind of it's just got it it's lovely it's beautiful this is one of Will's Will Mayer's um, just most superb, absolute superb brews. So, oh, it smells. Just what can you say? Right, what's it taste like? Oh, God, yeah. Mm. That brings back memories of the first time I cracked that can of flower child open. <laughs> That's nice. Now I tried to brew this a little bit, um, a bit weaker. Flower child six point five. I tried to get this down to about five point five. It's actually sitting at five point eight. It's a little bit thinner. It hasn't got quite the same on the mouth. Oh, actually, I take that back. When that's carbonated, I'm carving it to two point six five. Oh, that is lovely. There's, I was worried that there might be a little bit of hot burn in there. I was also worried that because I fermented it so quickly on top of that, um, on top of that previous uh, Saunders uh, cake that. There might be some strange esters coming out because it was bang done in four days. Mm, that's nice. If anything, I think it's a little drier than the um, the real deal. Again, that might change a little bit when carbonated and once it's sort of like sat in a keg for a week. But oh, crikey, that is. Mm. Oh. 
yeah. Now, the um, the moral of this story then, boys and girls, <laughs> I don't know if there is a moral to this story, is because I had a couple of disasters. That's a real downer. Um, but that's a part of it. You know, this this is a part of life and brewing and stuff. And you just pick yourself up by your own bootlaces and carry on. I'm very pleased with that. So uh, I've got another one in the another one in the fermentation fridge upstairs, which is another similar to Bernie's. So let's hope after a couple of failures, I don't get three really good ones. Oh, that is just stunning. If you like this nonsense, please do what it says down there. And um, it'd be lovely to have you subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you did a little thumbs up thing, that tells YouTube algorithms that it's all right to suggest this nonsense to other poor, unsuspecting folk to whom I will apologize in advance. Uh, but for now, happy am I with the way Flower Childish version three has turned out. And if, uh, if Will ever gets to watch this, well, mate, what can I say? Cheers to your very good health, sir. To everybody else, whatever you're doing, well, to everybody else and Will, whatever you're doing, do it safely and uh, cheers.